Now, the Deputy Minister Designate for Justice and Attorney General Joseph Dindiop Pinka has suggested a complete ban on illegal mining activities as the way to go in dealing with the menace. This, in his view, will give room for restructuring to ensure that entities go through stiffer procedures to acquire licenses. He made the observation when he appeared before the Appointments Committee of Parliament. The nominee, who is also the MP for the Timpani constituency in the Upper East region, was the second to be vetted for the deputy ministerial position. A member of the committee, Joseph Yilechere, sought his views on the disturbing issue of illegal mining activities, its impact on the environment and the way forward. Looking at the gravity of the, and the enormity of the issue at stake, some band, complete band at least, so that we restructure the system in such a way that when we eventually begin to give licenses again, then we'll ensure that the right things are done. Because we can continue to talk about the fact that it is the livelihood of people. But it is only because we are living that we are mining. If we die, we shall not be mining. The nominee also answered questions on judgment debts, constitutional reviews, enhancing freedom of speech and justice delivery. Another nominee for the Deputy Minister for Justice and Attorney General, Gottfried Yebo Adame, appearing earlier before the committee, threw more light on the need for a special prosecutor and how the country can ensure balance and fairness in that office. We know that, yes, under the common law and indeed under the statutes of Ghana, the Attorney General was the power of knowledge prosecutor and what have you. That is a very powerful tool that the Attorney General wrote to discontinue criminal proceedings against a person that um, um, he or she does not want to prosecute. So that power itself can also be delegated so that the special prosecutor will become seized of all the powers of the conduct of criminal prosecution. So the special prosecutor is appointed by the President under an Act of Parliament but has full control over the conduct of criminal proceedings in respect of offences that he or she may prosecute. And I think that that clearly will make it not amenable to the difficulties and challenges that the Honourable Member is, 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 is contemplating. Also appearing before the committee was the Deputy Minister Designate for Energy, William Murakwedu, who answered questions on rural electrification, the Ameri deal and the Sankofa gas project. Deputy Minister Designate for Roads and Highways, Kwabna Ousu Adiumi, also appeared before the committee.